Well, hello, hello, General Hospital Daily Recap fans. Today's Daily Recap is for Monday, June the 10th, 2024. Monday, June the 10th. Well, as you all can hear, allergy, sinus, whatever's going on, you know, and it's very, very windy out, so that's not helping. So just ignore my voice, y'all. I decided I'm going to dive in and do it tonight because these things can quickly go south. And I won't even sound decent, okay? So I'm going to get through this before I start coughing. Um, <clears throat> uh, Elizabeth, oh, before I get into anything, when I logged on to Hulu, which is where I watch my GH, they have a brand new promo picture of, you know, the key players in the cast. And I'm telling you, this is the first time that Maurice Bernard, who plays Sonny, has not been front and center the first time. Usually everything revolves around Sonny's character. But I love the fact that Steve, Steve uh, Burton, front and center. I'm loving it. Loving it. So anyway, <clears throat> no, not the, don't get me wrong. Love me some Maurice. But if he's talking about retiring, they have to set the stage for uh, Jason to, well, Steve Burton to take over, right? So anyway, Elizabeth, she handled it very well. She asked the chick what was her name, and she's like, Barb. And she goes, don't tell me you're the wife. She goes, ex-girlfriend. And Finn is just drunk, drunk, looking at her like, huh? And so Barb says, well, then you can't come in here and tell me what to do. And she looks at Finn. She goes, you're going to let her come in and call the shots? And Finn is looking at Barb like, oh, well, let me think about this for a year. <laughs> right? So she goes, what's your name? And she said, Barb. So Liz says, Barb, like I said, you can leave. So Barb looks at Finn for the last time saying, um, are you going to let this happen? And he just looks at her like, I'm trying to still think of my response. She gets up fine. She leaves. Right. And he now standing up and now he could talk. He couldn't say nothing to Barb. Right. Well, Barb was there. Now he could talk, you know, saying, you don't. You can't just come in here and <clears throat> you don't have a right to X, whatever. And Elizabeth said, uh, is Violet here? And he goes, you don't think I would do all this in front of Violet? And she said, ask me if you would have asked me that a week ago. I just said, no, but Finn, I don't know now. And in my mind, I'm thinking he never would have done that in front of Violet. But anyway, you know, if he gets too far down the stupor, he would be falling out drunk in front of Violet, right? He'll put her to bed and get on a complete bender, passing out. She'd wake up having a bad dream about grandpa and can't wake her daddy up, right? So anyway, <clears throat> he's, Elizabeth is just like, I can't, you know what? I can't. And he goes, no. She goes, what are you doing, Finn? He goes, where were you? You always judging people because I wasn't perfect for you. You know, you're talking about you can't. She goes, I can't put myself through this and I can't put my boys through this. again. No, no. And so he says something else and she goes, you know what? Talk to me when you're sober. And so she's turning to walk away. And he told her, he goes, let's see, was Jason there? He says, leave your keys and you can go. So she walks behind him. I mean, in front of him, leans over and drops the keys in one of the bottles of vodka. And then she stands back. And she's, I'm out of here. And she's turning to walk away. And he goes, Elizabeth, no, no, don't leave me. And he's grabbing her arm. And all you heard is 
let her go. And that was Jason. And, you know, Elizabeth snatched her arm away at Finn is looking and he goes, so you called him before you came here? Do you really think I would hurt you? And Elizabeth looked at him and Jason says, Elizabeth, what do you want to do? And she looked at Jason and she says, I want to get out of here. And he said, let's go. So her and Jason are turning and walking away and they walk out and Finn is like, I stood by you when you and he was naming, you know, when Elizabeth was psycho two years ago, all the things she was doing. He goes, and I stood by you. And Jason looked at him and said, don't go near Elizabeth again. So then Jason takes Elizabeth to the Metroport uh, pool side. You know, they're both got their feet in the pool. And she says, I'm surprised any that, you know, anybody could get Jason Morgan to take his shoes off and put his feet in the pool. Jason said, don't tell nobody. Right. And so he was just there for her. He would let her talk, you know, and she says, you know, you've been gone for two years and, and I, I don't know, Jason. And she goes, did you do it by choice? And he said, no. And she said, I didn't think so. You know, so then she was like, how'd you find out? How did you know to come there? And he said, Jake called me and said, you needed me. And she says, for Jake to reach, and he goes, and for Jake to reach out to me, then I know you needed me. He was afraid for you. He goes, your son really loves you. So <clears throat> she says, and for, and for him to reach out to you, she says, that's progress. So he was saying, you know, he wanted to be more of a presence in Jake's life, but only on her terms for how whatever she feels is appropriate. And she's just looking at him and shaking her head. And you know what? They better not be putting those two together. So now BLQ, <clears throat> BLQ and Chase are talking to Tracy you're trying to let her know there's a plan they have to try to get Violet away. They're going to have a bunch of the kids up to the house. Tracy, I mean, Finn and Brooklyn will move, you know, come there and stay for a week and have Violet there so she can be around all the kids for the summer and blah, blah, blah. She he <clears throat> feels that Finn might go for that. And he goes, that'll give us time to help Finn get on the right track. And Tracy just said, look, be prepared that it won't go your way. Just be prepared, I'm telling you. With Finn in this state of mind, he may not go for it. And bottom line, Violet is his daughter. So but she goes, that's where you come in. And I think they want her to talk to <clears throat> Finn as well. So we have boring Nina, she, not Nina, boring Willow and Michael were on a date, blah, blah, blah. She's telling Michael, you know, things are going better with Nina. She's thinking of giving her another chance or, you know, she's not opposed anymore and blah, 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 whatever. Michael always has said, it's your choice, the relationship you want to have with your mother. He said, but where our kids are concerned, I am guarded because their best interests are at heart. And she goes, no, I, I understand. And I'm really, really guarded where they're concerned too. You know, she goes, but Wiley saw her and ran to her and there, that's all she wrote. And he goes, no, I know. And Jocelyn and Dex showed up at the, this is that place that Stella introduced Trina and Jocelyn to, you know, this is going to be one of the hip spots. So Jocelyn and Dex had a date and they're talking about having another one. Um, Nina Maxie was trying to have a meeting with her and Nina was only talking about her afternoon, not even listening to Maxie, not realizing Maxie kept saying, I need to go home. I want to get home. She didn't care. Talking about Drew, Drew, Drew. And then when Drew comes in, because she left Drew this message, he finally heard because he was talking to Curtis, telling him about con Congress running for it possibly. And Curtis is all in, gave him his support. So he comes up to Nina saying, "How you know, you're insufferable, blah, blah, blah. And Maxie says, okay, I'll leave the meeting and she goes, well, email me the comments. So, of course, they're yelling at each other all up like this to each other. Close the door and you know what happened. Yep. And that was it, everybody. Nothing else happened today. I'll be back tomorrow for another daily recap.